Yo guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back once again on Roblox and we're going to be playing Cabin Crew Simulator. But it's a bit different because this one, as you can see, looks very different. And it's not actually called Cabin Crew Simulator. This is Cabin Crew Alpha. This is the first version of Cabin Crew. And I have actually played this on the channel um, apparently all of these, you know, here, I, th I think these have carried over from the first cabin crew. I'm not too sure. Okay, maybe not. But as you can see, this is the very first cabin crew that there was. And I did play it on the channel. I did probably three videos on it. And honestly, it's been so long since I have played this, um, since I have played this version of cabin crew so i'm gonna do another video on it because i just want to kick off nostalgia and it says you're in an outdated game Cl uh, click play to teleport to the new cabin crew simulator this just brings back serious nostalgia keep uh, walking through the scanner all clear have a good flight or have a safe flight thank you so the way you set up a flight is very different usually you would have like a um create flight in the lobby but for this one you actually have to go through security and then here, there's only one terminal. Here is where you select your flight. So you select flight, and then you have this GUI or UI where it basically says what you know flight you want. Now, currently, the best plane I have is the ERJ195. Um, I think I did like literally like a very cool edited video on here where I did the CRJ200 plane. Um, and the ERJ195 uh, does have a multiplayer, and but doesn't have first class. If I get a bit more skybooks, then I could potentially get the B757, which max passengers is 44 with first class as well. So we're going to do a flight with the ERJ195. The skybooks earn is 160. I don't have the time to game pass on this one, but um, we'll just try and make money. And as you can see, you've got all of the different destinations as well. It's kind of the same as Cabin Crew Simulator. And the best one I have is Honolulu. So let's go to let's go to la actually instead let's go to la so as i said we can have a multiplayer of two um i'm just going to click, click confirm because i'm going to do it myself uh, and then we'll teleport to the flight and i don't actually think um there are flight attendants on this version of the game so this is going to uh take quite a while to do so we can click start boarding and as you can see all of the people just spawn in this thing and then just get onto the fly and as you can see there's quite a few people and something I've just, uh, else i've just seen is that um they look like actual avatars and i don't know why did, did they always have that where the people actually had names i don't know but now we can go ahead and click and um you actually have to click uh these uh overhead bins so let's just go ahead and do that yeah, it's it's a bit tricky to try and get all of these done because it's not E and then you can't see them close. It's just like you click it and then it automatically shuts. You know, th there's no animation to it. So it's a bit tricky to actually see, you know, which ones actually get closed down and then which ones didn't. So and not every time it'll, you know, click it like that, for example. Sometimes it might just stay open. So we've done all of that. And as you can see, the walking animation itself is a bit, uh, you know, a bit tricky. What else do we have to do? We need to be seated for takeoff ourselves. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we click takeoff. So we're going to, obviously, we, I have the I have the emergency selection where I can choose what we want. So I'm going to click random because I think this means that, um, I think this is the same as normal cabin crew simulator. So we could have one or we might not get one. So... In order to serve these passengers as well is kind of like cabin crew in a way but slightly different so hopefully once we are actually up in the air there we go what you would do is you is obviously you get your beverage cut out and then you need to click on the passenger and then you may see you know like um oh how do i actually ask um what they want you actually have to type out in chat what they want so if i go ahead and just put in what would you like to drink today just like so um and they'll get and they'll just reply they want a water so then you give them a water 
and then you keep going. Uh, High low cabin crew will experience some light turbulence. Take caution while surveying. Great. Uh, that's the uh, captain's report. Um, you do have to try and, you know, find the sweet spot in order to click them. I usually find the shoulder is like where you would click them in order to obviously select them. Now, you don't have to continuously go and, you know, say what would you like to drink. You can just put in drink and then it will just reply. So they want a water. So let's give them a water. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and just keep doing this. So uh, you would like a coffee. There you go. What would you like? Again, you, you, you do. Sometimes it isn't the shoulder. Sometimes it's like the arm. So um, you do have to experience what they would like uh, or how to select them and stuff like that. So they want a Sprite. Uh, what would you like? Oh, you would like a water. So this is a more time consuming version of Cabin Crew. Because you actually have to type out in chat what, you know, um, you know, the question. And then obviously, then you have to give them it. So, it does take quite a while to do. But, um, this was the very first cabin crew. And this is what you had to start off doing. So, let's just continue doing all of this. You want an orange juice? What would you like? Type it out in chat. You can obviously map like a, like a macro to like, um, you know, open the chat and then do it. Um, so like if, if I just quickly set up two buttons on my stream deck real quick. So now if I go ahead and select someone, I can just do that and then click the drink on my stream deck and then want a Pepsi. So you can obviously map it to obviously, you know, do uh, stuff like that. Oh, I've just opened Microsoft Edge. I didn't want to do that. Uh, let, let me try and do something different then with the, uh, with the, with the macros. So hopefully now I can actually just click it. Which, nothing happened. Okay, never mind. Let's try something else. So just as always, we do that. Drink. What would they want? They would like a Pepsi. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just need to keep doing this. And um, obviously just keep, obviously, serving all of the passengers. So just uh, going to continue doing this. This does take quite a while. And if I'm going to be honest, I didn't actually play this version for quite some time like after I did a few other videos because of this, you know, having to constantly type in drink in chat and stuff, it was very time consuming. Obviously it wasn't too bad on the smaller flights, but then when you got to obviously the bigger flights, then it took quite a while to do. So we're just gonna continue going through and uh, giving them their water or whatever they wanna drink. And we still haven't done, um, we, we still haven't done food yet, so yeah, this takes a while, and every passenger I think needs one as well, which is um, even more time consuming, but um, at least I know when, when you've got to the end doing it the first time, then you've kind of, um, obviously, um, you're halfway through basically, so let's go ahead and do that, and then want a coffee. Now we'll get out the snack tray. And I just type in food. I don't really do, um, you know, um, I don't really do, um, you know, type in what food do you want. I just, you know, type in food or snack. <laughs> um, and this one is very slightly different as well. You only have two um, things. You either have chips or crisps, if you're obviously from the UK, which I am, or you have pretzels. So... It can, it can be either one, and as far as I'm aware, you cannot change this menu. It's automatically assigned, so it's not like Cabin Crew where you can obviously change the menu and stuff like that. Uh, it is automatically assigned. Um, but at least, you know, like, this is the first, you know, version of this game. And honestly, it's amazing to obviously, you know, come back on such an old game when it was, you know, the first time of this um you know of this um game and uh oh my god it, it's just a serious kick of nostalgia this game <laughs> it's really old and obviously yeah and some videos that i did on the on this game as well blew up as well like i think my emergency one like got many views i don't even know what you know how many views it has i think Honestly, it's probably close to 10,000 or over 10,000. Uh, it was crazy. Like, I think I woke up the next morning and saw that it already reached 100 views. And obviously, back then, I didn't have the subscribers I had now. I think probably I only had, like, 
600 to 700 subscribers and I got like 100 views, which was unheard of, literally the day after. Um, and I just saw the thing and I was just like, oh, people seem to enjoy this game, don't they? So, um, oh, did I? There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was just crazy to, you know, see that, uh, yeah, I got um, that many subs on the first thing. So now we actually have to go ahead and click and click up the rubbish. And now instead of icons, you actually have to click um, the actual like items. Um, so it's it's very weird. Plus, you do need to try and get a good angle until obviously the thing highlights, and then you can actually pick it up. It's not just as straightforward as clicking some icons. So. Obviously, there are a few things that I do like in this version that aren't actually in Cabin Crew, but then there are some versions that I like in Cabin Crew better than this version, such as, you know, serving the passengers. You know, you don't have to click or you don't have to type in drink, snack and stuff like that all the time. It, you know, you can just, you know, click, um, uh, you know, what, what do you want? And then obviously they'll tell you what they want and then you just click it and give them to it. It, it was a lot more time consuming back in the day, <laughs> let's say, when you had to constantly just keep saying snack or food in chat and uh, yeah, like if I'm going to be honest, I could have probably done like two flights, like two flights with this plane or a, pl or a plane similar to this in cabin crew by the time it's taken me to do this once. So uh, we've served all of them, we've uh, clicked up all the trash and now we just need to be seated and we will go ahead and um, land. I didn't actually experience any turbulence. Uh, I think one time when we did have major turbulence on a flight, literally the whole plane just started shaking and it was just so weird. Um, so thankfully we didn't, I, or I didn't feel any shakiness, but um, obviously it could be different. Um, have we descended yet? Are we actually on the thing? Okay. Why aren't we landing? I don't know why we're not landing. I feel like I've broken the game because we aren't landing. I'm clicking OK. But we're not landing. <laughs> Have I done something wrong? I don't know what I've done because it's not working. Sh should I just try a different plane? Or a different seat? Um, obviously it is an old game, so obviously it might be slightly different, but... It's not letting me... I'm clicking OK. It is registering, but then the plane's not landing. So... <laughs> I don't actually really know what's going on. I think it might be bugged. Um, as I said, you know, it is a, um, it is a, um, you know, it is an old game, so I expect it to be slightly different. Hmm. It's not letting me land the plane. <laughs> I don't know why it's not letting me land. Um. I think I might have to scrap uh, the flight because it's not working. Um, obviously, we, we were able to do the flight, but obviously we can't do the actual landing. Uh, let's try one last time, and if it doesn't, then we're just going to have to end it off here. Are we going to land? Um, please? No? No? Okay, yeah, I, I don't think it's working anymore, but at least we've got a slight insight as to how this game used to be. What would happen when you would land is you would just open the door and then the passengers would just get off and then you'd obviously open it, you know, open. Oh, wait, hold on. Have I actually done it and it, the thing hasn't actually done it? Wait, have we actually landed? Wait, ho wait, hold on a second. Hold on. It says we're still in the air. Maybe that's a visual glitch. Maybe it, maybe we have actually landed. The visuals and other things are just saying otherwise. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. If we can open the door, then we have actually landed. No, we can't open the door. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know what's happened then. That is so weird. Um, 
Yeah, maybe we need to... Well, I mean, I don't really think the, the developer would focus on this game anymore because obviously there's a new version, but... uh, Well, Cabin Crew Simulator, but uh, yeah. I guess that was a slight insight as to how this game used to be. Um, as I said, you know, there's no way to customize the plane either. That is obviously a new feature that they brought into Cabin Crew. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of us trying out the old Cabin Crew Simulator. If you did enjoy it, obviously make sure to drop a like on the video. That would be awesome and thank you very much. Also make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.